we just hitchhiked a thousand kilometers to get here to the beautiful Estonian capital of Tallinn. And today we are meeting up with someone we actually met while hitchhiking, a yeah. very friendly local. So this is a friendly guy that picked us up two days ago and has now shown us around uh, Palvinski and Rumu. Yeah, we drove past him at, at first, but uh, it felt like we have to pick them up. <laughs> and uh, we uh, turned around and we <laughs> came to see them and they will not see the true parts of Estonia in Tallinn. So I thought I will try to get the contacts out of them. And, Maybe just to show them around a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Effort, yeah. effort to show us around, so thank you. Yeah, thank you guys for coming. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. It's like we're in France or something. I mean, it's beautiful. It was uh, really good to go out at the keep. We, I... we got camping here and we, really, we took some sausages over. There's something I didn't expect from Estonia. Absolutely beautiful. Looks almost like the Mediterranean Sea. Have you been under one? No. 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 <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> you can go straight under there. There's 17. 17. 17. Very close together. I as well. think so. I've never been very close to a wind turbine until now. It is huge. Yes. And you can hear it. like a shooting uh, spot right underneath. This is the highest point of the bank. Yes. Going up that baby. You got awesome view. Oh yeah, that is cool. <laughs> There's only like four or five thousand people living in Paris. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, it used to be like three thousand uh, Russians, two thousand Estonians. <laughs> now it's uh, maybe half and half. It's a better balance. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite a dizzying ascent. But Anne is in the military. <laughs> Can you tell? Wow, nice. Wow. See, look, she's not what a great view. I think this is actually the first time I've ever been in a lighthouse. Yeah, Drop the keys. So cream like uh, makes it a bit colder and it's mm -hmm. really good, it's creamy. There is beetroot there yeah. as well and there's olives, uh, I think uh, a bit potatoes and uh, should be six or seven different sorts of meat like smoked meat, sausages, yeah. everything. It's actually a saver's tip if you're like grill in the summer and you get mm -hmm. leftovers, you freeze them up like ribs, uh, uh, yeah. different sort of meat. You put them in the freezer yeah. and uh, <laughs> when the freezer freezer is filling up, you can always make soup. Take out of them and make a brilliant soup. This soup cures hangovers. It's actually really good. It's very savory, a bit fatty, yeah. but very flavorful. With them? I cannot really believe that this cures hangovers. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, this soup. <laughs> bon appetit in Estonia. Yeah, this soup. Yeah, this soup. It's a good place to eat. Even if you go from here, there is loads of places like that aren't that known, but are uh, like spectacular and a bit distant from the city and everything. Yeah. It's, it's really nice. That's Do you have to say the Baltic coast growing on me a little bit because <laughs> I would never have thought to come to Estonia for like a vacation later on, but yeah, I think you, you might have to come back at some yeah. point. In the summertime, it's really, really beautiful. Yeah. If, you, if you get good weather, you can. Uh, you can basically tent anywhere you want to mm -hmm. on the coastline. There's no. Uh, like ah, you can wild scan. That's awesome. Yeah, you can. You can That's cool. Do it always. You can always contact us as well. Yeah. 
the inter how you're gonna kill us? <laughs> no. Oh. She was uh, talking that with this uh, we can rent the soup parts with uh, minus five euros. You can uh, do loads of stuff, stuff here. You can uh, uh, use the you can jet ski, and there is like a rig behind the jet ski that you can fly on the water, like with water coming out of the cannons and things. Oh, wow, that's cool. cool. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy. I've never done it, but it's it's kind of crazy. You can also <laughs> rent a sauna and drive around the quarry and Tim drink you and can, swim. You can rent a sauna and drive around with it. Yeah, it's, it's on a raft. <laughs> Just yeah. Estonian things. <laughs> it's, it's really common. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a lake, you always build a sauna on a raft. I've no. never heard of it. <laughs> I thought stand-up paddle boarding was like impressive as an activity, but this is floating saunaing. It's next level. <laughs> Apparently, this used to be an old prison until 2004, but I guess this wasn't there back then. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been so bad as a prison. It looks a little like a Lord of the Rings landscape. Yeah. <laughs> going in front. this task has been appointed to you. Oh, it's the climbing. <laughs> oh, it's off. Wow. <laughs> Here. That's a good view. It's really impressive such a view. And you can also yeah. jump off the rooftop because over there it's eight meters deep. Yeah, yeah. it looks it's deeper, actually, it's darker. It's actually a four-story <laughs> building. <laughs> ah, four-story building? Yeah. <laughs> wow. It goes really deep, you can just like t take two steps and jump. All of that used to be the prison and this these were like buildings from the quarry. Yeah. And that's like the part that became like a lake. Because they dig too deep. Dig too deep. <laughs> if you drive like uh, near the road, mm -hmm. asphalt road, you can see under the fences that there are like <laughs> the ground is poured in. So tunnel uh, digging is uh, still in the <laughs> agenda. Because from the living compounds, they made a tunnel from a living compound to the fence. Yes. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Good yeah. seeing yeah. touch. Yeah. Yes. Thanks so much. Thank you. Bye. We just made it back to our hostel. It was really a great day. Thank you so much, Rain, for showing us around your beautiful town. We really enjoyed yeah. it, and we really enjoyed that you took the time to take us around, even though you didn't know us. Because if it wasn't for you, we never would have seen this side of Estonia. We no, just would have seen Tallinn, and that would have been it. Yeah. Um, and speaking of Talon, you will see Talon in the next video because tomorrow we are going to the old town and then later tomorrow we're heading to St. Petersburg in Russia. Yep. After that we will continue all the way to Siberia and to Mongolia by train. So that will be six, seven thousand kilometers just by train. We'll be visiting a lot of stops in Russia. We'll do St. Petersburg, Moscow, uh, Yekaterinburg, Irkutsk, Ulan Ude. Yeah. And finally end up across the border in Mongolia. And that will be the Trans-Siberian Railway, one huge part of our uh, overland journey from Brussels to Beijing, 12,000 kilometers. So definitely tune in uh, for the next video if you're interested in that. And we will see you tomorrow in the old town of Tallinn. Bye. Good night.